an organization that's mission has been to help those in life altering situations for years is now able to help mothers in need with something they've never been able to do in the past. Twin States reporter Emily Erickson has details on Aslane's mission. I wanted it to be so much out in the country with chickens and cows and horses and anything else, a garden, you know, anything that we can do to teach these young women to be self-sustainable. This place has it all. Christy Rayner has long dreamed of a safe home-like shelter for mothers and children in need to help them transition back into a stable lifestyle. And thanks to one local doctor she met, that dream has now come true. He said, well, what's stopping you? And I said, oh, just a little thing like money, a house, land, you know, just the major things, but we're going to get it done this year. And immediately he said, I want to offer you something. That something is a nearly 4,000 square foot home on 100 acres of land. She needed a location and we had a location, but we didn't have an organization to partner with. And so um, it kind of went from there and um, and we brought Christy out and showed her the, the house and the land and what we had. and. Um, and she uh, she said it would work well for um, for the organization and for what she was wanting to do. Dr. Cody All and his wife are currently building a home just across the house they gifted and they plan to be fully hands on with the project alongside Aslan's mission. We're really excited to be able to serve the community in this way um, and to have people in our home and to love on them and um, provide for them and help them just to change their trajectory and, and break the cycle um, that they've been in so they can um, become productive members of, of the community and, and help other people as well. They have been just so gracious. We have partnered together instead of them saying, here's the house, they have come on in the board to uh, be very hands on. And that was one of the things they want to help mentor these young ladies to help them get on their feet. In Meridian, Emily Erickson, Twin States News. The new shelter will be able to house three to five families at a time. Supplies and volunteers are needed, so you can visit our website if you would like to get involved and help out.